Let's take a look at another example for testing the claim made about two population proportions. Since an instant replay system for tennis was introduced at a major tournament, men challenged 1,408 referee calls, with the result that 431 of the calls were overturned. Women challenged 778 referee calls, and 219 of the calls were overturned. Use a 0.05 significance level to test the claim that men and women have equal success in challenging calls. Part A, test the claim using a hypothesis test. Says, consider the first sample to be the sample of male tennis players who challenge referee calls, and the second sample to be the sample of female tennis players who challenge referee calls. What are the null and alternative hypotheses for the hypothesis test? Okay, so their original claim, let's write it out in symbolic form. So we're trying to test that men and women have equal success rate in challenging calls. So our original claim here would be P sub 1 is equal to P sub 2. And then I'll step 2, write out what would be true if the original claim was false. Well, that means that P sub 1 would not be equal to P sub 2. 3, null and alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis would always include equals. So it would be P sub 1 is equal to P sub 2. And then the alternative hypothesis, take a look at steps 1 and 2. It's the one that does not include the equal to symbol. So P sub 1 is not equal to P sub 2. Now, since our alternative hypothesis contains the does not equal to symbol, this means that this is a two-tailed test. Okay. So now let's go ahead and enter that answer to stat crunch. Sorry, not into stat crunch, into the homework. Okay, so we had P sub 1 equal to P sub 2 for the null, and then P sub 1 not equal to P sub 2 for the alternative. So that would be answer choice E. Okay, now it's asking for the test statistic. So let's go ahead and open up StatCrunch. And then we'll go ahead and input our information into StatCrunch, and we'll get all that information that we need. So we're going to go to Stat, Proportion Stats, to Sample, and what we have here is a summary. So the number of successes for sample one, this was the men challenging the calls. So 431 were overturned out of 1,408. Sample two was the women that challenged the calls. So 219 were overturned out of 778. And we're trying to perform a hypothesis test. Null hypothesis, remember it's just in a different form. P sub one minus P sub two is equal to zero. Alternative is P sub 1 minus P sub 2 is not equal to 0, so that's all correct. Let's go ahead, let's show the critical value as well. <clears throat> and now we have our test statistic right over here. So our test statistic is 1.21. Okay. Now our p value, we have 0 0.228. So 0 0.228, perfect. Now we have to make a conclusion based on the hypothesis test. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the p-value method. So we're gonna take a look at our p-value and compare it to the significance level. So over here, we have a p-value of 0 0.228, which is bigger than the significance level of 0 0.05. So since the p-value is bigger then the significance level, that means that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So here the p-value is greater than the significance level of alpha equal to 0 0.005, 0 0.05. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis, which means that there is not enough evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that women and men have equal success in challenging calls. So there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of this claim. So what that means is that they could have the same success in challenging car calls. Now let's go ahead and test the claim by constructing the appropriate confidence interval. Now over here it's telling us what the appropriate confidence interval is. If it wasn't given to you, remember since this is a two-tailed test, the appropriate confidence interval to construct. So since this is a two-tailed test, it would be 1 minus alpha. 
So our alpha in this case is 0 0.05. So it'd be 1 minus 0 0.05, which gives us 0 0.95. So the appropriate confidence interval would be a 95% confidence level. So now let's go back to StatCrunch, and we can figure out what the 95% confidence level would be. Now remember, I don't have to input all this information again. I could just go to Options and click on Edit. All that information is already there. Now instead of performing a hypothesis, te hypothesis test, I'm going to go to Confidence Interval. And the confidence level is 0 0.95, which is already there. And let's go ahead and click on Compute. Now I have my lower limit and my upper limit. Okay. Now I'm saying round to three decimal places. Okay, let's put our lower limit negative 0 0.015. And then our upper limit <clears throat> 0 0.064. Okay. And now we want to check to see if zero is included in our confidence interval. Now, if you take a look at the confidence interval, it switches from negative, so the lower limit's negative, and then the upper limit's positive. So what that means is zero is included in this confidence interval. So since zero is included in this confidence interval, that means that the difference between men and women's success in challenging calls could be the same. They're not that much different. So because the confidence interval limits include zero, there does not appear to be a significant difference between the two proportions. Because okay. if you subtract two things and it gives you zero, that means that there's no difference between them. So that means that there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim. Now remember, their original claim included equals. So their original claim was that they were equal to each other. Well, well we don't have enough evidence to warrant rejection of that claim. <clears throat> so now part C, based on the results, does it appear that men and women may have equal success in challenging calls? Well, we just saw that in part A and part B. Since the original claim included equals, remember that the success rates were the same, and we did not have enough evidence to reject that claim. So that means that they could be equal to each other. So let's take a look at these answer choices. Part A, the confidence interval suggests that there is a significant difference between. Well, we saw that there was not a significant difference between them. The confidence interval suggests that there is no significant difference between the success of men and women challenging calls. So most likely it's going to be B. Let's just check and see what C says. The confidence interval suggests that there is a significant difference between the success of men and it is reasonable to speculate that men have more success. Well, that's false. So our answer choice here would be B. Okay. 